Okay, I'm gonna today I'm gonna show you how to add a news post to your website. So um, um, your website is most likely set up with some sort of a news section, whether it be on a, a sidebar or maybe it's in the middle of your website, um, wherever that may be. Um, this is populated um, automatically when you add new posts to your website. So that's what this video is about to show you how to add new uh, posts. And as you add new ones, they will replace the ones that are currently on your site. Um, and they'll be moved over down over time, eventually going to the, the actual full news page, which will lay everything out. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you're logged into your website. And then from here, you will on the left hand side, there will be a posts tab. If you click on that, um, you can see all the posts that are on your site. Um, to add a new one, you click this Add New button. And that might pop up. If it does, you can close that out. And then from here, you can start editing. So for example, this post might be July 4th fireworks. And you can add in whatever text that you need to add. Um, this is using the Gutenberg block builder. Um, so there's a bunch of different options on what you, what you can add. Um, and you can even search for specific ones. For example, I wanted to add an image. I can click image here, or maybe even a gallery. Let's go with that. So I can click the gallery. And then on the right-hand side, you will see your block settings for that gallery um, under this block. Well, let me click in the block. There we go. Um, and then I can see the, the gallery settings uh, for this. Um, I can also continue to add more information as needed. Um, paragraphs, I mean, you name it, there's a ton of them here. If I hit this browse all, you can really go through and you can see how many there actually are on this left-hand side here. Um, so you have a lot of options on which one you can choose. Whatever one you do end up adding, um, I will, I'm gonna click something random just because I've, and let's click this one. Offset gallery, perfect. Um, so we'll click that. If you click within whatever block that you're trying to edit, um, you always have these block settings on the right hand side. So this this block tab will change um, depending on what block you end up using. Most of the time you're going to be using paragraphs. Um, this is text. Um, you might be using something else to note too is that um, if you don't see that little plus button on the right hand side, um, if you click within any any of your blocks, you see these more options to, uh, section here. Um, if you click on that, so I will here, I'll click on that. You can insert before or after. So let's say I wanted an image or um, a heading above this text. So let's go to insert before. That's where this will pop back up. And then I can go in and click and add my heading. So you have all of your content figured out, you're ready to post this. Um, you need to go over to the right hand side here and there will be a post um, tab. If you click on that, you can see all the options here now for the post. So um, this post tab shows all the settings for the actual um, for the actual post. So when, it, when it's gonna be uh, published, uh, whether that be immediately, you can backdate things. Um, you can even publish them for the future. Um, if you do future dates, it will not appear on your website until March 23rd, 2021 at 10.33 a.m., whatever you end up selecting here. Um, you can also change the categories if you um, need to do that. Um, most of the time, you're just going to be dealing with the news category. And the last thing that you will want to change is this featured image. On this specific example, um, this doesn't have a um, featured image that it's using. However, um, I'll show you an example of one that does. This Pensbury Village uh, borough, they have these featured images. And if your site is set up like that, highly suggest always adding a featured image. That way your site doesn't look bare um, and you can make sure that these images are included. So to set that, you just click this featured image um, tab under, so it's gonna be under the post tab. You scroll down, you go to featured image, you might need to click this little triangle to get this to pop up. And then you click set featured image. You can either select one from the library or you can upload a new one. From here, 
once you're ready to actually save it um, and publish it. So I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to reset this so it goes immediately. Um, when I'm ready to publish this, I will click this publish button. Once I click that, it'll update my site across the entire site um, where it needs to be. For example, on this Pensbury Village page, it'll update this and put this uh, post most likely right here. Again, it depends on the date because this shows the most recent. Um, and as it, as more posts are added, it'll go kind of off the first page here, or at least off their home page. Um, and I think that covers everything. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, our email address is support at coursevector.com.